Hello, how are you guys? Hi, how are you guys? Hello, Hello. Hello. can you hear me? Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. Hi. That's nice. All righty, I do have Mr. Brian here, Annie, Omar, Hi, and Maria. Okay. How are you? How you been today? Hi. Very nice. Very nice? That's nice. Oh, Mr. Mahano is also here. That's great. That's really great. Hello. All righty. How oh, did you do your homework, by the way? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. That's why I love you guys. There you go. Because you are really, really, really so responsible students. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know more so. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Omar, now you look so relaxed. Really? Oh. Yes, that's nice. Yes, thanks. <laughs> uh, do you feel that uh, under um that you're not stressed today? No, it was uh, a relaxed calm day. day. A yeah. calm day. day was very calm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Finally. It and it shows your face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know what? We can. You can also ask Mr. Osman to invite you a cup of coffee, maybe, <laughs> and a cup of tea. Yeah, that's amazing. That's great, Osman. That's nice. All right, so you have a relaxed way. There you go. All righty. Tell me something. We cannot hear you, Osman. Let me check what happened. Oh yes, let me check. Okay. Yes. Now we cannot hear you as well. <laughs> What happened to Osman? Do it again. Okay, what, yes. Right now? Go. Yes, we okay. can hear you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, answer. Good evening. Hi, hey. This day was wonderful. Nice. Really? Beautiful for me. Okay, so what happened? Tell <laughs> me. Oh, my God, something's going on. Uh, really. Well, a, a little thing, but okay. uh, it was special. Uh, right. I woke up early. Again? Uh, yes. <laughs> you tried twice. Twice. Twice? Yeah. And when I woke up, uh, my my children were next to my, my bed. Okay. And then when I woke up, uh, my son uh, gave me a draw drawing. Yeah, a draw. Uh, it, it, it is. It is. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, of course. Yes. It's you, your wife, the two children, the pop, the cat, I think, and a big heart. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, I, I think when when I kill uh, when I saw gay uh, gay his draw, drawing, uh, they give gay your your heart heart. Yes, definitely, yes. definitely. Yes. Yeah, it's, um, it's one way that they show the or the, they express their feelings. Yes, uh, I, I love that so much. Uh, in the afternoon, my wife uh, prepared some special food for me. Oh! Uh, oh. Uh, she prepared lunch. Uh, how do you say carne asada? I don't know. Grilled meat. Grill. What? Gr grill. Grill meat. Grill. Grill meat. Oh yes. my God! That's uh, amazing. In in uh, two beers. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you know. Okay, you what? you should invite What's Daniel. Nice? <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Uh, by Daniel, Daniel uh, told me that, yes. Yeah, he's not in a dad. No, in, the, in, in the afternoon, I watched uh, two movies. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, yes. So it was really a nice day, actually. That's, I'm so happy. Yes, and I am here with you. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yes, with yes. everybody. Yes, with all yes. of us. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy that you that you had a really good day. Yes, yes you deserve happy. it. That's I, good. I was happy this day. Very good. I like it. Oh, uh, what else? Who else is a daddy? I think Carlos. Yes, Carlos is a daddy. Carlos Cruz. Hello, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, How are you doing? <laughs> How you being today? How was your day? Oh. Um... My day was good. Uh, okay. I was working all the day in my office. Uh, it's we are return of the quarantine. Mm -hmm. It's necessary to to work. 
Yeah. Uh, in the afternoon, I visit my father. Uh, okay. Oh, really? One or two hours, yes. That's nice. Yeah. I, I come back uh, maybe 10 minutes ago. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. But I'm so yes. happy that you're here in the class. And I love your picture. The one that you put uh, hanging your dog. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think your dog looks like close to my one. It's as cute as my one. You see, we're using comparatives. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. my one is a schnauzer as well. His name is Whiskey. No okay, beverage. Okay. No, 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 no. Whiskey is a good name. <laughs> I'm not talking about beverages. I'm, no, 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 Daniel. Okay, no. okay. <laughs> All right. No, that's okay. the name of my dog, Whiskey. No, his name of my dog is Bailey, like uh, a movie. Yeah. The purpose of dog. Yeah, Do exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I have seen it. Yes. It's a it's a good movie. Oh, that's nice. I'm so happy. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will uh, maybe at the end of the of the class, maybe today or tomorrow, I will show you Whiskey. Okay. Okay. He's in a okay. good mood because he's eight years old almost. So okay, okay. A, yeah, so sometimes a little bit grumpy. You know what grumpy okay. is? You know what grumpy? No. Do no. you remember Snow White, the, the, the story tale? Snow White and the seven little men? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, each of them has their name, right? Depends on the personality. Do you yeah. remember the one that it was like, mm, all the time? That is grumpy. Yes. When you're mad all the time. When you're cascarabia, <laughs> yes, that's grumpy. So sometimes my little dog is a grumpy. Sometimes. It depends on his mood. My little baby, you know, is, is a good boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a really good boy, actually, but he's almost eight years old. So sometimes he's okay. not in a good mood, right? So it depends. Okay, I, yeah. I understand. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, who else? Gerardo, are you a daddy? No, no teacher. <laughs> not even for dogs? I, no. <laughs> Okay, who else is a daddy? Omar? No. Daniel? No. <laughs> no? No yet. No yet. Okay, no. dogs does not count. No. <laughs> they don't count. <laughs> no yet. <laughs> uh, what about you, Francisco? No? No. No, Arturo? No? I, I okay. No. Okay. So I'm not, I, don't, I don't know how to ask anything else. But yes, I should have asked some questions. And this is regarding no, our... No, teacher, I'm not yet. No yet? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, but uh, kids are beautiful. They're really nice. Yes. I love them. Even though I don't have them, but I love them. I really don't. Well, actually, I have a niece. My niece is 16 years old right now, but she's almost like my girl. Because I oh, helped my yeah. sister to, to grow her up. You look, teacher, you look like a really great uncle. Oh, thank you. You're a big Duncan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. You know, actually, I love my niece. I love her a lot. She's like my girl, actually. The only thing that I didn't do is to give her birth. But besides that, it's like my girl. I feed hey, her. That's perfect. Yeah, I take, gave her a bath. Uh, I don't know. I take her to a trip. I um, help her with the school. Ooh everything i changed the pampers yes. <laughs> so you Ooh. cannot imagine yeah you are you are her mom yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm her second mom actually actually uh, before my sister uh well my sister asked her to live with her in costa rica she spent i think um a lot of years with us with my mom and my and me and my husband here in el salvador so basically she was with me. I know her since the day that she was born, right? But um, my sister left when she was five years old, the little baby girl, and she met with her mom when she was 11. So from five years old to 11, she was with me. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So basically we were like um, uh, the stepfathers, the step parents. Mm -hmm. And I love her. So hopefully I can see her this year and now maybe next coming year. Depends on the quarantine. Okay. Yes, exactly. I will show you a picture. Okay. But later. Because she's <laughs> she's 16, but she's she's a hedge girl. Huh. You cannot imagine. And beautiful. <laughs> 
Alrighty. Okay. So we're going to start with the homework. I think you have done it, right? All right, Mr. Omar. <laughs> I know that you are so happy to to participate. Okay. So Omar, let's. We're of going to course. listen to you. Go ahead, sir. I love her voice. He has a radio voice, by the way. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a radio voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's good. Okay. Well, uh, yes, I I did. Uh, my homework here, and I compare my house versus the Osman's house because I remember very well this house. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think everybody, uh, yeah, including Iris, by the way. <laughs> he was exactly. thinking to move with him, I don't know. Yes, well, okay. I do for comparison. Okay, cool. Let's listen to okay, it. Well, the first one is my house is in a spacious has Osman house. That's true. Yes. <laughs> the Osman house Thanks. doesn't have has two floor has my house. I know I don't know if this sentence is is, is good or is bad. I don't know. Uh, can you please repeat it to me once again if you don't mind? Okay. Osman house doesn't have has two floor has my house. Doesn't have two floors as my house. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, it's good. Okay. <laughs> well, my house don't have a big backyard house. Oh, Osman house. My house don't have or doesn't have? Uh, don't have, I think. Because a backyard is not common. It's not uh -huh. But it is it. So you can say doesn't. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. so, doesn't have. So the... Doesn't have, okay. It doesn't have, yes. Because you're talking about only one yard. If you're talking about the two yards, yes, it's don't. Ah, okay. Because it's rural, yeah. Thanks. That's good. Well, okay. And the last one, my house are in has private, has Osman house. Really? Oh, yes, yeah. definitely. Your house isn't as private. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's nice. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Now, <laughs> let's hear the opposite side. Mr. Osmond. Now it's your turn. You can compare your house with Omar or with somebody else. Don't worry about that. Well, Omar uh, Describe it. it very well. Yes, yes. Uh, he Excellent. described yes. very well. Yes. Okay, but we'll listen to your homework. Uh, I didn't my 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 homework teacher. Ah, okay, because it was Father's Day. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow you will <laughs> have like double to... homework. That today's okay, homework okay. and yesterday's homework. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, okay teacher. Cool. All righty, okay. who else? Maria! You didn't do your homework? No, I'm sorry. Oh I my god. Work. At least you're honest. Okay, cool. Who else? Uh, Francisco? Yeah. You did your homework? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's listen to you. We cannot I'm hear you. For my, for okay. my homework. Ah, okay, okay. Don't worry, take your time, no rush. Did you find okay. it? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, my house isn't as big as Osman's house. Everybody will compare Osman's house. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, my yard isn't as big as Osman's yard. Okay. My house has just as many rooms as. Maria's house. Okay. My house doesn't have as many living rooms as Maria's house. Okay. My house doesn't have a terrace as Omar's house, and my house um, has a warehouse as Julissa's apartment. Oh my God! You know what? That was amazing. Oh well, give me double five, my dear. That's great. <laughs> Excellent job. Woohoo! Very good. Congratulations. Oh my God. I'm so proud of you. Anita, have you done your homework, by the way? No, I didn't. No. Okay, I'll forgive you. Tomorrow you will give it to me your homework. Okay, don't worry about that. Mr. Arturo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, did you do your homework, by the way? Yes, I, I did. Okay, but, cool. Uh, I, I think I have uh, some mistakes in this uh, question. Don't worry, that's what we're here to learn. Okay. So go ahead, sir. Okay, let's begin. Okay. <clears throat> My house isn't as much spacious as Omar is. Mm -hmm. 
the Osman house has as uh, much spaces as mine. Mm -hmm. And my house had the same number of rooms than the Maria's house. Very good. But as many rooms as Maria. Okay. We have not seen as that many. yet. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. as, 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 exactly. Very good, but that was great. Excellent. You did a really you, good job. Thank you. It's cool. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Who, who else? Vane, did you do your homework, by the way? Hello, Vane. Hi, Vane. What happened with Vanessa? Let me check. Vanessa. Hi, Vane. It's up here. <laughs> yes, it's here. Yeah, but I don't know what's going on with her um, microphone. Bonnie, do you hear us? Can you hear us? She's here, but I don't know what's going on with her microphone. We're going to leave her right now for a minute. Hey, Danielle, do you do your homework? <gasps> My goodness. Yes. Yes. yes? yes? Okay. Yes. Let's listen to him. Okay. Go ahead. My house isn't as small as Osman's house. Because okay. I remember the Osman house is big. Ah, yes. Yeah. My house just as beautiful as Klaasman houses. Okay. My house has just as many rooms as Klaasman houses. Okay. Yeah. My house don't have as much privacy as Klaasman's house. Okay. Very good. Excellent job. That was really good. I don't know what's going on, but everybody is using Osman as a reference. Yes. Okay. <laughs> everybody loves the Osman house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Julie, you appeared. That's amazing, girl. Okay. Hi. Hi. Did you do your homework, by the way? Uh, no, yesterday I lost connection and I didn't uh, hear, hear the, the whole class, but I would catch up um seeing the portal activities ah, but I, okay but i heard that you are making sentences um comparing the houses of of everyone and the only one the only one i heard was the osman one so i can i think i can make a few sentences you see oh my god osman you're such a big reference okay cool <laughs> okay let's listen and compare your apartment with mr osman's house go ahead okay so my apartment is a little bit different than osman house okay uh, my apartment is um uh, smaller then then Osman has mm -hmm. got two rooms and he said he got three. Mm -hmm. um, Osman has uh, has um, back yard and front yard, mm -hmm. and I don't got. I got a little front yard, but it's like um, how do you say? It's you need to share it with the, the, the rest of the people who live here. Okay, okay. So it's not like a private, a private. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't got backyard and I don't need backyard. You don't need it? No. I don't like gardening or or have flowers or fruits or, or vegetables like my mother. She got like one tree of lemons, one of, of um, spinach and many Spinach. Things. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, I love nature. I'm an adventure. I'm an adventure girl, actually. Yeah, I love it. I cannot yeah. live without plants and, um, and flowers and trees. I love them. Wow. Yeah. Really? I have no pets. I don't know if someone said that they have pets, but I don't, I don't, I don't. Yes. Know. Actually, Danielle has four dogs. Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. You don't have pets. You don't. You don't love animals, or you don't, or you do. I don't like. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Not even a bird. Not even a bird. Anything. Any living creature. I don't like it. It's really? <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh, she's a dark girl. I'm just kidding. Dark baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, nah, just kidding. That's okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Not everybody loves pets. Yes, I do have a friends. I ha yeah, I have a friends. So a really close friend, but they don't love animals, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm accepting that the way they are, so they're my friends. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good job, Julie. Who else? Brian, did you do your homework? No, I didn't. Ah, another one. I have a lot. I, I have. Eight, yes, I uh, have four for my people day. that we're going to do tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow we'll be speaking. That would be amazing. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Bane, did you do your homework? Can you listen to us? What happened with Bane? For some reason, something happens with her microphone. Because I cannot hear her. Can you hear her, guys? No, Can you? No, maybe no, he right? has, she has a problem oh. with, the, yeah. with the microphone. Yeah, I think so. All righty. Okay, so I, I'm not going to ask Henry because Henry was not in the class yesterday. No, also Jose. Okay, so don't worry, Henry, okay? Don't worry. Don't get panic. Okay, very good. Madeline, did you do your homework? Madeline is here, right, as well, but... We no, I didn't the homework because uh, I wasn't in your in your class uh, yesterday. Yes, you were, you were, but, uh, but, but uh, not in the whole class. The, yes, uh, the, the, um, I didn't in your class because the, um, the, internet? the energy went tough. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, yeah. not a problem. I didn't know, I didn't know about the, the homework, please. Okay. Sorry, okay, you are apologize, but don't do it again. <laughs> okay, that's okay, guys, not a problem. Today, even though we're going to recap a little bit, okay, for those who were not here yesterday, or for some don't have a doubt, like Vanessa, for example, or Henry, or, right, or Madeline, or Jose B. So you all going to have a, a fresh of that. And also, guys, basically, we're going to learn something new. We're going to listen to a lot of people talking about their dream houses. Okay, the dream apartments that will talk about different type of houses, okay? Not even the one that we have here, but also different kind of houses, their characteristics and everything. So guys, we're going to keep on developing the listening skill, which is really, really important for us to develop. And um, basically also we're going guys to make a writing activity here in class, but at the same time it's going to be a speaking activity. Okay, so guys, today you prepare okay. to suffer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Yes? Okay, cool. Uh, let me just a couple of minutes when I open my screen so okay. we can share something. Okay, the first one, guys, is going to be a dialogue. Basically, a girl and a boy talking about uh, the new apartment of a girl. So what I want you guys to do is just to listen to the conversation and I want you to uh, let me know which are the adjectives that she uses to describe her apartment and also what are some characteristics, what, the, what uh, does the apartment has, okay? Uh, for example, if she's talking about bedroom, bedroom, kitchens, all of that, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Let's start. <laughs> Can you see it, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. All righty, cool. So yes. let's yes, listen to the conversation. Yes. Go ahead. Next time. So, so, uh, yes, I, yes, yes. I, I have I a new you. apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's yeah. really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. A kitchen. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment. All right, guys. Only one time. <gasps> yes, I told you that it will be harder with this. All right, so according to what you have heard or what you have catch, okay? Tell me something. Uh, what was uh, or which were the adjectives that she uses to describe her apartment, Arturo? It's not too big, mm -hmm. but uh, it has a uh, uh, living room, dining room. No, I mean adjectives. Don't don't go far. Don't go far. Just the adjectives. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So you said it, it has big? no so okay, it's big, but not it's is it nice? Much. It is nice mm -hmm. in it she says it's near to the to the university, I think. Oh okay. yeah, right. college. All right, okay. cool, excellent. Tell me, uh Francisco, do you remember which are, are the parts of the of the department apartment? What was it has? Um it has a kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, a kitchen. It has a bedroom. A bedroom, okay. And it has um a living room. All right. What else? Mm, a bathroom. All right. Anything else? Um, dining room. Yes. Okay. Are you agree with him, guys? Yes. I yes. All right. Tell yes, me I something. It does a. Uh, does the girl like the location of the building? The building's it's location. Being in the she downtown. likes. All yes. oh, right, in the downtown. Yes. Very yes. good. Yes. What about with the view? Uh, have a great view. Apartment. She liked the view. Uh, she liked the view. The university. <laughs> she likes the view. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure she liked the view? No, I have my oh. doubts. No, why not? Because she because only she see the uh, apartment exactly she because she can see the other building, right? Yeah. So basically, she doesn't have a view. Right. Very good. Yeah, Excellent. Well. Would you like to hear it one more time? We're okay with that, right? That was easy one, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's move to another one. But this one's will be a little bit harder. So don't worry about okay. that. Okay. Yay! A little bit harder. Okay, before we move on, guys, to this one, um, what I have noticed is that we're going to also, I would like you guys to help you with some um, pronunciation words, especially for adjectives that we use to describe our houses or to describe our apartments, right? For example, uh, private, uh, comfortable, convenient, right? So we need to learn also, guys, how to improve our pronunciation and especially because there are some words like for example comfortable that they do have a vowel a bowel you mean a i o u for example but you do not pronounce it okay okay Okay, let me repeat it, Madeline. Okay, we're going to practice pronunciation for some adjectives that we use to describe houses and apartments that's what we're going to do but there are some adjectives that even though they do have a vowel, like uh, I, uh, O, U, E, for example, we do not pronounce them. Uh -huh. Sorry. We do not pronounce there's them. A noise. Yes. There's a noise on, on another, like a background noise. Like a background noise. Who has a noise, by the way? Let me check. Okay, let me, okay. Now let me, let me explain to you right now, okay? Okay, we're going to practice the stress of some adjectives that we use to describe apartments and houses, but they use vowels, but we do not pronounce them. Okay, it's, and it's really important that we uh, also take advantage of that to improve our pronunciation, our speaking, and our intonation. All right, that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to have a lot of everything today, guys, but everything will be related to and listen, okay? So... Are you guys ready? Yes, I know you're right. Cool. Allow me as long as you're able to see my screen, please. Okay. Yes, I have to remember that I have to share before I open it. <laughs> oh my God, teacher, what's going on with you? All right. Okay. Let's play it. And let's open it. Woohoo. Immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. All right, guys. 
Did you listen? Did you listen? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to play yeah. it one more time so we can practice again the pronunciation? And oh, guys, please. I just want you to focus on the words, and you can see that there are two uh, two um, circles. One that is bigger mm -hmm. and one that is smaller, right? So the one that is bigger is when you put the stress of your voice, the strong pronunciation. Okay. So that's why I want you to pay attention to that. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back and we're going to play it one more time. Let me check. Okay, that's what I have. But allow me one moment because I need to share with you again. I always forget that. I don't know why. There you go. Now, can you see it, guys? Yes? Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. Let me yes. put it a big one. All right. So guys, I would like you to take advantage of that and check it out because we do have two, two type of groups, if you can see them. The first group, can you see them? this is the um, a word that they do have two syllables, average. But the second group, the one that you have on the right side, that one has three syllables, comfortable, okay? But if you see, guys, that, that, that we have like a little scratch on a bubble, for example, average, we have a dash, in, a, in the E, do you see that? All right. The same of different, we have a, a scratch on the E. And separate, we have the scratch in the A. That means that even though you write it with a bubble, you do not pronounce it. So please guys, pay attention to the pronunciation and then we're going to practice together, okay? Okay. Okay, cool, okay. let's listen. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Different. Average. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Okay, cool. Okay, now is your turn, guys. The first one. Go ahead, please. Average. 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 Very good. Second one. Different. 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 Third one. Separate. Separate. Very good. Separate. Fourth one. Oh. Comfortable. 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 Okay, this continue. Interesting. 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 Last one. Very good, guys. You see that most of the people, most of the people, they do have uh, problems with this particular two. Uh, let me write it down really quickly. Mm -hmm. With this one. They do have problems with the pronunciation of this and this with one. This one. Yes? yes? Some of them said they're comfortable, but it's not comfortable. It's comfortable. 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 Yes. I can't understand comfort. No, it's <clears throat> comfortable. And this one, this one, uh, also, there are some people that said interesting, but no. That it is interesting. 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 You see? Interesting. Interesting. That's why, guys, in this part is the force of the stress. You see? It's the big uh, bold, if you can see that. Vegetable. Vegetable, yeah. Mm -hmm. The primero, no. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. No, comfortable. 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 Yes, comfortable. Yes, exactly. Comfortable. Very good. Yes, Osman, you said that you have a question. Go ahead, sir. Yes, comfortable. Uh, this word, uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat the pronunciation, please? Absolutely, not a problem. Comfortable. <clears throat> comfortable. Very good, yes. Comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. 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 Not tash, not tabol, Madeline. Comfortable. 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 No, not conch. No conch, because you, I still, you, you said conch. No. You said cons. Cons. Comfortable. 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 Very good. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. There you go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why you see it's really important to have those kind of exercises. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Excellent. We continue with that. Okay. We're going to continue developing all uh, speaking and listening skills. That's the one that we need to improve a little bit. All right, guys. So now what I want you to listen basically is going to be, guys, um, this is kind of different, uh, I think, house 
or apartment or a way of living. Because have you heard about capsule hotels? What? What? This is the first time that you heard about capsule hotels? Yeah, yes, no. the first time that I heard. Yeah, okay. But basically, they are really common most of the time in, in China and Asia. And we're going to learn about those in capsule Japan. hotels, exactly what they are look like. We have a different type of them. Depends on how much you pay. They are really fancy, right? But um, they do have, and they're really tiny ones. So we're going to listen, guys, to actually uh, an English teacher in Korea, in Japan. And he's going to explain about the capsule hotels and the description about them, how they are. So I just want you guys to pay attention to try to focus on as much as you can. And then we're going to discuss what you have heard about a capsule hotel and you can give me to me some characteristics about it, okay? Okay, okay, so pay attention, please, guys. I know that I have to share. Why I have to forget that all the time? There you go. All right, let me open it and then we'll continue listening. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program, Your Home is My Home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room, or should I say each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV. A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. Okay, guys. Would you like to hear it one more time? No, right? Hotel. Enough. Yeah. Capsule hotel it has small. It's a small. Yeah, so tell me. Have... What is exactly a capsule hotel? What do you, do you understand? It's, it's just a little it's space. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little room. room. It's a little space. It's a little cheap space. A little room. Where you just yeah. can sleep. Uh-huh. Uh, Very good. Only have it. Uh, a bed. And a boozy. It's a boozy local. Okay, exactly, exactly. And what is the name of the guy that were that was interviewed? It is like like his. Uh -huh. uh, the, the the people stay in in this hotel when come back. Mm -hmm. uh, his work. From work. Yeah. Uh, the the people is easy. Yeah, but if, for example, they couldn't catch the last bus, and they need a place to 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 sleep. They go to the capsule it's hotel. It's cheaper. It's cheaper than hotel. Mm, well, yeah. depends. No, it's not. Yeah, depends. Depends, on, depends on what type of capsule hotel you are willing to pay. Okay, yeah. because we have a, a they have a different a different type of capsule hotels. Actually, I will mm. show you. I will show you a, a, a picture of them later on. But the, now, guys. The size, yes. The size is two meters for one meter. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's so like basically, a, it's like a. a cafe. Uh, it's actually really like a room with exactly. a bed and the, all the things that you need necessary. That you necessarily live. 
and exactly. for people that only go to work and go back to sleep and the second day uh, are go back to work exactly. again. Exactly, exactly. You need to start yes. all over again. So guys, How we're going to listen one more time, the audio, and I want you guys to pay attention that besides bed that, that this capsule hotel offers, what else, what other services you can find in a capsule yeah, hotel? Yeah, so we're going to listen one more time and I want you guys to answer me that question. What other services okay. you can find in a capsule hotel? Okay. Capsule hotel. Yes. There you go. Let me share it. I saw. All righty. Let me open it. There you go. Hotels. Part A. Listen to Brad describe a capsule hotel. Check the words that best describe it. Welcome to the program, Your Home is My Home. Our guest tonight is Brad Phillips from California. Brad, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, at the moment, I'm working as an English teacher in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is an exciting city, but it's also very spread out. It can sometimes take hours to go from one part of the city to another. When I don't feel like going all the way home, I sometimes stay in a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel? Can you explain what that is? Yeah, it's a hotel with lots of small rooms. Actually, they're not really rooms. They're spaces that are two meters by one meter and only a meter high. In other words, they're very cramped. But the hotel is cheap and very convenient. And what's inside each little room? Or should I say each space? Well, inside every capsule, there's a bed, a TV. A TV? Really? Yeah, and a reading light, a radio, and an alarm clock. The hotel also has lockers where you can keep your personal belongings. Interesting. So what kind of people stay in a capsule hotel? Well, probably people like me. People who miss the last train home or don't want to go all the way home only to turn around and come back to work again. It gets pretty busy, as you can imagine. Finally, would you recommend a capsule hotel to other people? Sure. The rooms are small, but you get used to sleeping in a small space. I just wouldn't recommend a capsule hotel to people who can't relax in small, cramped spaces. Okay, guys. So tell me, uh, in addition to a bed, what does the hotel provide? A radio, a radio, and a locker. And a locker. Alarm clock. Alarm clock, yes. What it's, else? It's, it's, a TV. locker. TV, a locker, yes. A locker. A locker. And a bed. A bed and a mirror. Very good, excellent. L let me ask you, uh, uh, he uses a lot of uh, adjectives to describe the capsule hotels. Do you have yes. any questions about, for example, some of the adjectives that he uses? Yes, cram. Cram. Okay, yes. you, can you see the picture yeah. of the guy there? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, you see that there is no too much space, right? Yes. So that yeah. is cramped. When you don't have too uh, much space to move, that's cramped. What, do you, what is the meaning cramped? Cramped in Spanish means estrecho. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. It's a narrow. A narrow. Yes. Exactly. It so, guys, a narrow. Uh, would you like to stay in a capsule hotel? Yes. Yeah? No. Would you like to stay in a capsule hotel? Yes or no? Oh, no. yes. 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 Tell me why. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, only, am, to, uh, only for me? Okay. People. Yes, it, because only you can, can get in. <laughs> yes. You are really stressed, right? Oh, yeah. The problem is when you are so tall. Yes, when you are so tall. Or, for example, if you have a claustrophobia, you cannot sit in a yes. capsule hotel. Yes. No way. That's not possible. So, Mr. Alberto only... Aguirre. Hello, sir. We want to listen to you. I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Hello. Tell me, would you like to stay in a capsule hotel? Maybe it's only for sleep. Yeah, it's only for sleep. Why not, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah only that. 
What about you, Henry Granados? Um, for me, it's fine. It's fine, yeah, right? It's, yeah. one, it's one night. It's only for one night. Sleep. Hey, guys, would, yeah. would you wish that there, there should be um, capsule hotels here in El Salvador? No. No? Do you think that might work or no? No, right? No. Here, no, no, right? We have a I different did. totally culture, right? <laughs> Yeah. So I think they're, I they're not going to work. They will be like a little bit uh, unsecure. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, right? I think this is a principal problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but definitely. The, air, the airport, I think so. Uh, um, yeah. I, uh, in the airport to Mexico. Yeah. I think this is a. Uh, uh, uh this is type hotel yes basically there are some uh stations that they offer that uh -huh. okay let me okay. let me show you right now guys we have a lot of type of capsule hotels especially in asia but let me show you one of them so you can have like an idea how they look like so let me just a couple of minutes let me show them oops i need to i need to share right now my screen with you let me check okay can you see it guys <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah. Gosh. So they are like a capsule yes. hotel. You see? They're really nice, right? Yes. Yeah, really yeah. nice. You know what yes. I remember? Yeah. Have you seen the um, the movie? Uh, what is it? The, the the Fifth Element? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they are in a ship, so they can go into a cruise, right? Exactly. They are exactly like that. Actually, they are capsule hotels. Capsule hotel. Yeah. That, it, that. Do it has like some bat bathroom. Uh, well, uh, 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 Madeline, I show you one of them. They are a different type of. Depends on how much mm -hmm. you can pay and you want to pay, you can get into yeah. this type of hotel or another ones. There's a lot yeah. of them. We have a lot of a capsule hotels. In the capsule. <laughs> yeah, so that depends exactly what is um, the capsule hotel you're willing to pay. For example, let me see if I can find another one that can give you like an idea that they have a bathroom or something like that. Let me check. Ooh. And there are one that they're really tiny more than that one. Let me check. Ah, yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. Teacher, what you're looking at? I'm looking for one that can <laughs> you have like an, a different idea. Oh yes, let me let me show you this one so you are able to see how you will feel if you're inside a capsule hotel so allow me just a couple of minutes like a claustrophobia maybe let me check claustrophobia yeah, yeah. Me take a look mm. <laughs> oh, yeah capsule they're exactly like that juice yeah oh, <laughs> yeah oh, hey. yeah it's really nice right but it's really strange yeah, all right yes. very good guys so let's continue right now with the practice, okay? And uh, we're going to listen to a conversation. But uh, before we continue with that, that is going to be your homework, guys. Oh my God. Again, another homework? Yes. This is going to, wait, basically, it's going to be today's homework right now. Okay. Do me a favor. Think about your best friend. Your friend, your coworker, your mom, your sister, whoever you want to get in touch with. And all of you guys, you know how to send an email, right? Okay. Yes? The fish? Email, email address, email. Email. Uh, Yahoo email, Gmail. Uh -huh. yes. All right. So, guys, I just want you to do me a favor. Try okay. to uh, think that you're sending an email to a friend. Everybody's in Asia, and everybody has slept in a capsule hotel. So, guys, I just want you to write right now. We'll give you two minutes, no more than that. Two minutes to write an email and explain to your friend, to your mom, to your sister, to your wife, to your dogs, okay. to your children, whatever. <laughs> what is a capsule hotel? Okay. And so, write an email. Send a WhatsApp message. Okay. Yeah, or a what? Oh, no, an email. Oh. Come on. Okay, oh, and I'll be right back. Okay, I will give you two minutes. So go ahead, guys. The time counting right now. 
a short email. It could be just one paragraph. That's okay for me. I have a slight cap uh, capsule hotel because I don't have my pants. I don't have my pen. Oh, sorry, I don't know what else. Just one minute left. Sure. Yes, sir. I has problem. You have a problem. My connection. Okay. Yeah, and we we have to make things. Yeah. Don't worry. You do your best. Okay, time is over, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right, Omar, go ahead. Let's listen to you. <laughs> what? Valentine. <laughs> Valentine. You almost had a heart attack right now. Okay, listen to you. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, Whatever you I have, only, don't worry. I only write, well, I think that I put my, the email to my best friend. Okay, cool. Hey, hello, buddy. I hope you stay well. And finally, write to Japan. And I remember that I told you that I can find a nice Airbnb, so I have to rent a capsule hotel. It is very interesting. It is very, very small. I think that you can get in here. It's only have a bed, a small TV, and a locker that you put all the things. I send you a lot of uh, pictures about this tiny hotel. I hope to stay well, bye. That's good. Excellent. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. I, I was waiting best regards, sincerely. Okay, you see, Madeline love it. Very good. Excellent. Who else? Who else? Uh, me. Me. Madeline, I knew it. Go ahead. Okay, and then Gerardo. First Madeline. Go ahead, Madeline. Um, um I I sent a mail a mail uh my um, to my friend in Italy. Okay, good. Uh, I I am in Japan and I live in a, a capsule uh, apartment and a, a capsule hotel. And uh, in this place, I only have a, a bed, um, um, a meter, and a TV. It's very very small and. I only, uh, um, I only have um, the TV and a radio, but it's, it's, I like it so much. I, I like it, and when I will come, I will come back. I, I return the, the, the return the email describing about, uh, uh, describing more. Um, about this this place. <laughs> Very good, excellent. That's nice. That was nice, Madeline. Excellent. What else, Gerardo? Go ahead. We're listening to you. Okay. To be honest, it's a, a little uh, a little small, but don't it's, worry. It's, uh, Do your best. Dear Marvin, okay, dear Marvin, it's a pleasure to share the information of the new kind of hotels mm -hmm. in Asia. Mm -hmm. To be to be uh, specific, in Japan. There are a new concept to rest without a room. It's an idea for tourists. Greetings. 
That's good. It's a futurist idea. That's good. Excellent job. Who else? Who Thank wants you. to participate? Vanessa, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, okay, we're listening to you, girl. Uh, this is an email for my mom. Okay. Hey, dear mom, I hope everything is okay. I want to explain to you where I am living. I, uh, uh, where I live, it's about a capsule hotel. And this is a hotel that has a small capsules where you can stay. This kind of hotel brings to you TV, bed, and closet, and it's cheaper than other hotels. I hope that we can visit together. You have to find a little bigger capsule hotel. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the, the one that we have seen is only one, one person. <laughs> but that's okay. Very good. Excellent. Who else wants to participate? Okay. Thank you, Anita. Uh, no, I didn't. Did. You didn't finish. Okay, no problem. Who else? Me. <laughs> Me, Maria. Go ahead, Maria. Okay. It's short too. Okay. Uh, to mail is uh, my friend Doris. Hi Doris, how are you? I hope so fine. Well, I am in, Ch in China Jet and the last night I slept in a capsule hotel. Was a great experience because it was a convenience, the space only to sleep. Of course, only has a, a one bed and a TV, but the rest, but the bed, bathroom is was a shared well love you hugs very good excellent great job guys great job okay we continue okay and the other ones the one that i didn't ask you for you have to me send teacher. it to me through the whatsapp me teacher yeah oh osman you want to do it uh, it's very short uh, okay go ahead go ahead go ahead Okay, my email email is uh, Carlos Hernandez. Okay. He, he's my friend. Okay. Hi, my dear friend. I want to tell you about the capsule hotel mm -hmm. when you want to use someone. Mm -hmm. Are very small but comfortable. Comf comfortable. 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 Uh -huh. There is a TV, a short bed, a locker, a, a, a small a small mirror. The people there is the people here is friendly because are close to you. Mm -hmm. This hotel is is cheaper than other hotels. That's all. Very good. You know, Carlo is clapping on you. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, guys. The rest of them, I want you to send me through the WhatsApp. Okay. Well, I think everybody should send it to me through WhatsApp. Why? To the group. Yes. To the group. Because I'm going to double check your writing. Okay, if you just a comma, punctuation, capital letters, lower cases, grammar, linking words, everything, and also email the structure. Okay, I'm going to check that as well. That will be part of the writing activity, and I'm going to check. Okay, let's continue listening, right? Let's continue practicing. Sorry. All right, guys, and this particular uh, listening that we're going to heard actually will be uh, four people describing their houses. From, and I want you guys to tell me after each listening, describe me the house, okay? So you need to pay attention. We're developing the listening skill, guys, okay? Okay, teacher. All righty, so let's continue. Oops. All righty, let me put it here. Actually, we have four houses, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, and also do me a favor. You need to listen carefully because the, the numbers of the houses are not in order. We have four <laughs> houses. So you have to let me know which one is number one, which one is number two, three, and four, okay? Okay. okay. So you need to listen carefully. People describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 
So which one you think it will be? Which picture? Yeah, one picture. Maybe fourth. Fourth. Maybe fourth. Okay. Fourth. Mm -hmm. I think that is the first picture. Okay. Let's continue listening. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. So which one it is? One, 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 one. one. one, one. exactly. Uh -huh. So, so you were right, guys. The first one was number four. Let's continue. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Which one it is? Three. Number three. 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 We already know that the last one is number two, three. right? But let's listen to the description. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Guys, who can tell me how she described it? Oh, come Number on, Osman. <laughs> okay, how she it, described the house? Yeah, the trees. The small house. Okay. Uh, small. It's a small. The second one. Small okay. old house. Old house. Picture one. It lives near Picture the trees. Two. Very good. Where is it located, the house? Where is it? In the country. All right. The what country. else? It's an old yeah. house. It's an old house, yeah, definitely. Do you like it? Which one of the four you like it, guys? For me, Maybe number two. Number two. Number two. Low number one. Number one. <laughs> number one you love. Yes. Number two. Maybe okay. number two. In the country. Like number two. Number, number two. two. Okay. Number two. Number two could Number be two at the, on the beach. Okay. The last one that we're going to talk about, unusual homes. Okay? We're going to just listen to that. And tomorrow, guys, this is an article that we're going to practice. Tomorrow, we're going to practice reading. Okay? Oh, reading perfect. skills and comprehension. Okay? And also, we're going to start with one new topic. Okay? So, I'm just going to play the audio for us to listen or to have like a general idea what this article is about. But tomorrow we're going to um, study deeply, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Lofts near Tokyo, Japan are very colorful. The apartments. Let me just a couple of minutes. Oh, wait a minute. That is 12. Reading. Unusual Homes. Shusaku Arakawa and Madeline Ginz are famous designers. Their nine lofts near Tokyo, Japan are very colorful. The apartments are blue, pink, red, yellow, and other bright colors. Inside, the walls are colorful too. The floors go up and down, and some rooms are round. The windows have strange shapes, so there are no curtains. There are small doors to the outside. Inside, there aren't any closets. The bookcase is in the middle of the living room. Dan Phillips likes to help people. He builds houses for artists and other low-income people in Huntsville, Texas, in the United States. One house, the tree house, is in a large tree in the forest. It has windows on the floor. It also has a small kitchen. The bed is on the upstairs floor. There is a wood burning stove from an old ship in the living room. Phillips teaches people how to build houses with recycled materials. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, so basically this is a the article that we're going to read to, uh, tomorrow. Okay, we're going to read it tomorrow. I'll just give you like a brief uh, information about what's going on. But this article is really interesting. And I think there are new words for you as well in this particular article, right? Yes. Okay. okay. 
So tomorrow we're going to practice uh, reading a skill. Reading is not just reading like read. Reading, we have a techniques how to improve the reading and also comprehension. So we're going to develop that. And also we're going to learn about the topic wish. When do we use wish? How do we use it? I wish. Uh-huh. I wish. I wish I were rich. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> We need to, you know what, we use wish with verbs in the past to express a wish in the present. That's really nice, right? Wish, but wish. What is it? You know what, that, that word, guys, that word is, li is really out of the context and does not follow the rules, the regular rules. So we need to pay attention to that. But once you understand it, it will be really easy. Okay? Okay, guys. So see you tomorrow. Hope you study. Happy, happy Father's sure. Day. I, I, have a, I have a question. Yes. The last question, sorry. Mm -hmm. hey, can you repeat it? Uh, the activity that you said you have to read on WhatsApp? Oh, yes. The, your email? Exactly. Can you yes. repeat it how? You can send it through my email with the, with the group, the WhatsApp group. Exactly. I just want you yes. to write it. Or you can take what a about? screenshot, whatever. Uh, and ring. send on the and send an, an. on the WhatsApp group. Ah, okay. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Yes, Osman. I, I am not in this group. You're not, but you should no. be. Okay, do me a favor. Um, do you remember, guys, that at the beginning of the model they sent it to you like um, email with all the yes, details of the in model. The email is, there's is an the, email. There's a link is, with the WhatsApp mm -hmm. group that asks you yeah. when you click on that. They will, they will pop up or they will guide you immediately to the WhatsApp group. Let's and they will write ask you. you, would you, yes, you too, Madeline, would you like to get enrolled in this group? And you said yes. And then you are automatically Tisha. added to the group. What about the topic? What topic? What about the topic when I, when I write you? When you wrote me. Yes. Yes, I will send it, but I want you to be there. So don't worry about it, Madeline. I will send it to you. I don't understand, teacher. I'm sorry, but I <laughs> don't you worry. told me you told us you told us uh, tomorrow I will write. I will write you, but I don't know about the topic. Uh, about which no. topic? The the topic that I'm talking right now? Yes. Yes, about I'm going this to class. I'm going to send it to you. To everybody. Okay. Okay, so don't worry about it, okay? Okay, guys, so hugs and kisses, and hopefully I can see you tomorrow. Okay. Yes, we'll Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye, take Bye. care. Bye. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.